Happy Friday, folks. It's Brian with BG Model Workshop, and I am very excited for Friday this week because, first of all, it's Friday, the gateway to the weekend, which is going to be an awesome weekend. And also, Friday was very special because we've got our new tools in today from, Mark, from Micromark. And I am excited. This is why it's going to be a good weekend because we're going to be using this stuff over the weekend to do all kinds of fun things um, like making frames and trailers and yard work. Oh wait, that's not that's not part of this deal. That's some other deal. Anyway, um, what we got was the um, the miter right, and this is by Micromark. And uh, here is the actual part number right there. If you want to go look it up online and check it out, um, I think they're selling these for about thirty four dollars right now. Uh, kind of a blowout special or something like that. Uh, I was put onto this particular product by a good friend of mine uh, through the club. His name is Dale, and uh, he's had one for quite a while, and has been going strong with it ever since. Never had a problem. I don't. I don't even think he's ever even had to change the blade out in it. But. Let's give you a closer look at this here. So we got this, it all comes pre-assembled, which is really nice because then you don't have to futz around with stuff. And as a model builder, sometimes you just want to have stuff that's already pre-assembled. Um, it's got this nice piece of uh, MDF down here to attach everything to. But then it also comes with a piece of masonite that's already got the double stick tape attached to it. And you would just stick this down in place. Uh, I'm familiar with masonite from my years in the theater doing backstage work and set building. And um, I tell you what, we never had any tools this small, but um, uh, this is a hard wearing material and uh, will survive cutting for a little while. And because it's removable, we can replace it as we need to. Um, up here, I'm gonna show you this upside down, but up here, uh, we've got a full range of, uh, from, uh, of, for our miter gauge here. Uh, and then down here we have the smaller increments of degrees if you need to get super precise with stuff. Uh, we can tighten it up with these two thumb screws here. Or we can um, pull, and then also it has this little pin right here we pull out. This locks it into the 90 degree place and it's got a spare pin over here as well just in case this one goes on walkabout. But uh, we'll pull the pin and it will throw it. I'm just kidding. So, full range of movement here, and then what I think is really, really slick is that uh, we do have to assemble the actual saw itself. We have to add this plastic handle to it. No big deal at all, uh, but it's got this special little notch right up in here. Let's see, can you get closer there? A little notch right up in there, which locks into this area here. It keeps the blade up and out of the way while we're messing around with all of our angles and stuff like that and figuring out our cut. But then we just pull it out, drop it down. It's got a couple of little screws on the back side here that gives us tension on the blade so that we uh, don't slip out of place or anything like that. And it's a pretty long blade. It's, it's exactly the same blade as what we see on these, what we can get the hobby store right now, uh, that fit into the, uh, the exacto style handle. So that's a pretty long blade, so we're not going to worry about running out of blade while we're slicing back and forth. But uh, the handle does seem a little small for my hand, but it's a wonderful little system and it's very compact. If I have issues with this being too small, I can just pull that out and slip in this guy here and be done with it. But we don't seem like we're going to need a lot of leveraging on stuff, so we're pretty cool as it is but I like that a lot uh, my friend usually keeps his off the 90 and kind of tucked away like this here like that because it makes it a little more compact but I like that I, I like that a lot I've been looking forward to getting that thing because I want to be doing a lot more scratch building work and that's going to really help out something else going to help us out is this awesome looking square uh, this uh, has a very low profile to it so that we can use it on styrene sheet uh, I can't even guess how how thick that shoulder is going to be but this is from micro markets it's known as a low shoulder square and um i don't recall what the part number was on this one i apologize for that but um here's a really good view of it here if we want to focus it likes looks it likes to look on my hand better than that but there we go very very thin that's going to be awesome for doing uh setting up our cuts and stuff like that so it's going to be really cool and then to help if we do have a problem with cutting something that's a little bit unsquare or we need to clean up a a cut we got this guy here this is called the sand it now it looks very very simple and it is but uh if i was going to try and create and build something like this myself 
it would probably cost more materials than this little guy cost itself and i'm thinking we're, we're running about 25 dollars for this guy here i'm not quite sure but this looks like it's a piece of um aluminum box tubing but uh the key on this one here is it's got this recessions in here that will help us hold it comes with a couple of pieces of sandpaper uh, adhesive backed of course and we just stick those in there and what was what's what kind of cool is we can do three different grits I wouldn't do four because you're gonna be sliding on the bottom here and that could cause some problems we don't want to sand off this area here we want it to slide nicely but uh, the actual board itself is MDF a couple of layers of it uh, this is for our miter gauge which we get like that and of course it's got uh, all angles in between and then a piece of L stock that's uh, clamped down by these little dogs here. And uh, we just have to keep those nice and uh, nice and tight so that they'll go and walk about. But slide that guy back and forth there. We can get a nice 90 degree uh, right in there. Or if we need to get something beyond that, it does come with these awesome little pre-cut uh, miter gauges here. That go, we got a 60 on this side and a 45 on that side. And then over here we got a got a 90 and a 30 and of course they're all stamped with micro marks so you know which side is up but yeah we can run those there we can run any piece of stock we want as long as we want uh, as long as you have desk desk space for it but we can get all the different angles that we need and uh, that's really going to help out when we're trying to square up stock when we're cutting uh, stuff for frames or whatever what have you uh, I'm mainly concerned about being able to make trailer frames as square as possible I think I might actually add a little piece of a uh, non-slip non-slip stuff on the bottom of this so it doesn't uh, tend to wander about at all um, but it's called the sand it and here's the part number for that there if you want to go check that out online but yeah, uh, this is pretty cool. Also, they talk about how you can uh, store your sandpaper inside that. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, and then um, another little thing that we have, we want to try out that was actually uh, suggested by our good friend John Zweber is this stuff here. It's an anti-static anti wiper. And uh, he swears by this. He says that he's tried it on a couple of car bodies. He's had to clear coat and he has had excellent results he says that the ones that he had used it on had little to no debris on it at all and the ones that he did not use this on looked like he threw them at a cat so uh so high praise indeed i swear um but here's the funny thing look at this it says use dry only avoid contact with any liquids liquid may alter properties of the anti-static wiper so that's interesting uh, i bet you can't also feed this after midnight because it's probably made of 100 percent gremlin so there we go. So we're looking forward to trying that stuff out in our spray booth, which is getting very, very close to being usable. Um, and on that note, I am going to try getting to that this weekend. So we'll see how that goes. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, get some bench time in if you can. If it's nice outside, go play outside. Have fun with family and friends. If it's too hot outside, stay inside, hydrate, and get some bench time in. We'll talk to you a little bit later on. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please uh, ask comments. Ask down in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. All right, guys. Take it easy, and we'll talk to you later on. Bye now.